Hello, my name is Alex Garner. I am from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and I'm currently a sophomore majoring in finance at the University of Arkansas. During this presentation, I will be discussing the history and methodology of Old Main, as well as some of the art elements and principles as related to the building. Located in Fayetteville on the University of Arkansas campus, Old Main, formerly known as University Hall, has long served as a symbol of higher education in the state of Arkansas. After visiting several campuses, the University of Arkansas Board of Trustees was highly impressed by a particular building at Illinois Industrial University. This particular building was designed by Chicago architect John Mills Van Osdell. Trustees were so intrigued by this building that they hired Van Osdell as the designer of the new University Hall. Eventually, a construction company from Fayetteville, Mays and Oliver, won the bid to construct University Hall. Local historic figure Joseph Carter Corbin signed the contract worth $123,000 allowing the erection of the new building. During Reconstruction, Corbin was the highest elected African American official in Arkansas. The building was completed in 1875 and 20 years later, the name of the building was formally designated as University Hall. Old Main exemplifies a mansard roof. A mansard roof can be described as having four sloping sides, each becoming steeper halfway down. It is one of the most recognizable features of the Second Empire architectural style. This style was named for the architectural aspects that were popular during the Second French Empire. In relation to the formal elements of art, Old Main does in fact have symmetry. The only aspect of the building that is not perfectly symmetrical is the north and south towers. As depicted in this image, the clock tower on the south side is shorter than the bell tower on the north side. It is rumored that the building was designed this way to signify the Union's victory in the Civil War. When the Board of Trustees was in the design process, they paved way for the iconology of Old Main. They wanted to build a structure that would symbolize the future success, powerful influence, and prevalent purpose that the University of Arkansas would become and serve as an educational factor in the state of Arkansas. Old Main's dominant structure definitely shows this symbolization as it has become one of the most recognizable buildings in the state. When people see Old Main, whether by driving down Arkansas Avenue or watching a commercial on television, they are instilled with this idea that the Board of Trustees was implying when they were in the design process. Old Main truly is one of the most recognizable symbols of the University of Arkansas and higher education in the state. Every time I see Old Main, whether it's from driving by or seeing it on television, I think of success. Many of the top executives in my hometown of Pine Bluff actually attended the University of Arkansas. When I see the historic building, I cannot help but think of these top executives and the opportunities that this university provided them with. I also wanted to learn about something that I see nearly every day. Majority of the students on campus know at least a little bit about the landmark. However, there are not many that could ad identify many of the details that I have mentioned in this presentation. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and think about the details I have provided the next time you see Old Main.